Well, this is my outfit for the first day of school. So I'm gonna have to go to the bus stop in a second, but it's my first day of sophomore year. Yay! Brutus, say you'll miss me. You'll miss me, won't you? Yes, you will. <gasps> yes, you will. This is really hard because I'm carrying like a million things. My book bag makes me look like a turtle. I feel relatively calm other than a weird feeling in my stomach. That's normal on the first day of school, right? Now, if we're lucky, the bus will actually pick me up on time today. If we're not, then I'll descend into a ball of horrible panic. I don't want to go back to school. I want it to be summer forever. Hello, Haley. Hello. Hello. Quite obviously, I just got home from school. First day was okay. Pretty, what are you doing? Mm. Attention hog. We're an attention hog. Attention dog. Anyway, if you know me, then you know I keep journals of school. And within these pages is what happened to me on my first day of sophomore year. You want to hear it? You're going to, whether you care or not. It's that time of the year again. I feel fairly calm, but then again, I did have a horrifying nightmare about being chased by Daleks. If you watch Doctor Who, you know what those are. Yikes, at least I'm not crying hysterically like last year. Bruce, what are you doing? At least I'm not crying hysterically like last year. I am a changed girl. This is the picture I drew of myself. Mom let me dye my hair purple. She was gonna let me get permanent dye, but apparently permanent purple doesn't exist. I read like a bajillion books over the summer. I would have read more, but Mom didn't take me to the library until late July. These are all the books I read this summer. And onto the back. I'm not gonna tell you all of them because that would take a while. But my favorites were uh, The Midnighters Trilogy by Scott Westerfeld, Ultraviolet by R.J. Anderson, The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Insignia by S.J. Kinsade, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, Paper Towns also by John Green, and 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. My first class is Spanish. I started out so nervous I could hurl, but now I'm fine. Not much happened. Second period is biology. Mrs. Haywood got married, so her name is now Mrs. Imbrogno, aka the teacher who likes Doctor Who. I can call you something else, within reason. I will not call you Pop-Tart or The One. This is my friend Liz saying you should call me Dark Lord of All. She also has three turtles, one of which is named Molly the Disapproving Tortoise. Third is Mrs. Henderson's English class. Everyone is saying that she's evil, but I don't think she's that bad. Martial arts is awesome! Mr. Kramer spent at least 15 minutes talking about Japanese toilets. The downside is that I have city lunch, but I have it with a bunch of people I know. Mr. Schoonover, history, is next. Eli did a card trick while he took attendance. This is Eli. This is Ken. And is it your card? No. Huh. I'm kidding. I got a queen of spades. Mr. Schoonover talks really fast. His instructions are like speed wraps. He's entertaining, but breaking a rule gets you an automatic detention. He also wants a falcon tattooed on his calf. I'm thinking, that's going to take a while. Mr. Lebecki teaches geometry. It appears that he's into comics, so that's good. Bad part is that he's having us do project-based learning. Group work! All year! God, why have you forsaken me? This is Lebecki with his Holt glove. Also, here's a drawing of my math notebook. I'd show it to you, but it's my locker. My last class is graphic design with Mrs. Carson. So that's my first day in three pages. I don't know what else to say, really. I should probably go and do stuff. Wait, bye to the camera, Brutus. <gasps> bye! Bye!